Hey everyone, this is Leonard Lee, Executive Analyst at Next Curve, and I'm here with Jim McGregor from Furious Research. Hey, you've been practicing. This is awesome. Where are we, Jim? <laughs> we're in beautiful Maui, Hawaii. Actually, technically, we're in Kanapali. You gotta love this. We even have a paraglider in the yeah, background. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we have a bunch of people in the pool here and a lot of background noise because they're doing a teardown here of the Snapdragon stuff, but you will not hear it. Why? Because of noise cancellation. Yes. Well, you're supposed to say AI. Well, okay. AI yeah, too, obviously. But, you know, it's. You're eh. a super nerd because you have to use all the complex lingo, Jim. Come you know, on. Okay, I know. You're getting picky I here. I know. I am getting picky. But yeah, it's like AI is everywhere. Yeah. Do we really have to say that anymore? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of AI'd out. But, <laughs> anyways, we're here for Snapdragon. Tech Summit 2025, and it's actually been wonderful. It has. actually and the privilege that Snap, uh, the folks at Qualcomm invited us here, and uh, you know, uh, it was a great show. It was it's a great. The tenth event. year of their Snapdragon Summit. It's the ninth year they've held it here in Hawaii. Um, you can't ask for better weather. You can't ask for a better location. And, you know, and they, and they modify it every year according to what their key products and technology yeah. introductions are. So this year was really all about the, well, first off, AI, of course, but also about the handsets, the next generation yeah. handset platform and the next generation PC platform. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, they talk a lot about MPU again, or at least, you know, it's only been a year. <laughs> Well, NPU, that's, that's a key yeah, part yeah, of their yeah. AI strategy, but yeah. it's, it's part of the heterogeneous AI strategy yeah. that includes the Good CPU point. and the GPU. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, there's one, um, I had a chat with, uh, Don McGuire, um, and we talked about one of the big themes that, uh, is sort of the anchor of this conference, which is personal AI, right? Yes. And so this whole evolution of where we start off with large language models that were like one shot and, you know, sort of uh, monolithic toward, you know, these mis mixture experts, reasoning models, and now agentic, right? And so yeah. uh, Cristiano did a great job of blueprinting a future where personal AI is really gonna bring all this stuff together. Uh, it's ambitious. Well, I'll be honest with you. I think personal AI is really also that evolution to edge AI because yeah. I, I think that, you know, just there, there's no reason to have edge AI if you can just do everything in the cloud and you have connectivity. Yeah. But if you actually have that personalization, if you actually have access to your information, your knowledge graph, um, you know, your likes, your thoughts on any mobile platform that you're on, and that can range from a handset to a PC to a car to your a, a VR glasses to whatever. But if you have that, that really makes AI personalized. Sure. Yeah, and ubiquitous and uh, pervasive for you. And so they introduced this, everything that Jim just said, you can encapsulate into three words. Ecosystem of hey, you. Uh, Snapdragon. You. Actually, yes, but you. You. <laughs> I love it when you give me that <laughs> wizened look. You know, Jim doesn't know everything all the time, which is I, marketing. Well, I don't agree with all the marketing terms. I'll okay, be honest okay, okay. with you. Right. I, I, okay. I think the personally, I am, does a better job of rather than the ecosystem of you. But you know, that's that's my preference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, it's a lot of stuff to unpack, a lot of to underlying technologies. There are a lot of complexity that still needs yeah. to be worked out, and so. You know, I think um, we really need, the way I took it, I took it as a vision, a direction. I think it's things that maybe not so obvious to, uh, let's say, casual audiences. But I think this was an attempt for uh, by uh, the Qualcomm team to uh, make it more of a palatable, accessible concept, right? I would agree uh, with that. And quite honestly, w probably the most impressive thing to me, not only besides their products, but was the ecosystem. Yeah. I mean, we had Vinesh uh, Sukumar actually talk about that whole AI experience, that personal AI experience. And for the first time, I think we actually saw those those logical on-device AI applications yeah. with everything uh, LLM, with uh, Page AI, yeah. you know, having those types of examples and, and bringing that in, not to mention ha seeing what... Um, uh, Humane is doing. Yeah. I mean, that was very inspirational where Humane's actually 
creating kind of an AI platform and AI device. They're trying to create a whole AI platform where it really is uh, not only, well, it's really for enterprise, but still it's personalized. It's, yeah. and it really breaks down the barriers of all these thousands of applications we've developed over the past 30, 40 years. Yeah. And, um, I had a chance to meet with Tarek, who is the CEO of Tarek Amin, who is the CEO of, uh, Humane. Humane. AI. And, uh, he and I have, well, you know, we go back a long ways. Mm -hmm. And so it was good to catch up with him, but also get some, uh, insights, mm -hmm. a bit of a preview. Yes, uh, but absolutely. insights, uh, deeper insights into what he has in mind. There's you know, more coming on October 27th. Yeah, and yeah. he's always been a visionary. For those of you who know about him and his history with uh, Rocket and Mobile, it was uh, arguably the first open RAN. Um, arguably, it was. The it first was. Open yeah, RAN. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we can argue. But anyways, uh, no, he thinks big. He executes big. It's going to be fun. Yes. And great to see how Qualcomm and Humane collaborate in defining what the next uh, epoch of AI is going to be, right? I Which agree. Is, I agree. Yeah. And so they introduced uh, Humane One. Oh, which I think was a rebranding or um, a rejiggering of Humane OS. Uh, they also introduced a line of laptops, AI yes, PCs. Yes, actually right? a laptop. Uh, and then they say they've got more to come, but talked about a Snapdragon-based laptop. Yeah. Uh, and having that whole uh, AI layer integrated yeah. into the laptop. Right, right. So Horizon S for scholars, Horizon Elite... And I then, can't remember. Yeah, it was, right. I remember there was a Horizon Pro, but yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah. That. And then uh, I think yeah, Pro is going to come loaded with. Or I think actually it's the Extreme that's going to be. Uh, anyway, there, there's well, going to the, the Pro is actually going to have the the 5G modem. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot, I mean, they packed a lot of stuff in this year. It was. Uh, it was three full days, and so as much as you probably think that we were on vacation, um, any time that I spend with this guy is always work. <laughs> A little bit torturous sometimes because he he uh, makes fun of me all the time. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Who keeps calling me old? Uh, and I just found are, out you are, you're you almost are. the same age. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want everyone to think I'm 25-year-old. Uh, yeah, you know, that, that, it's I out. It's out. Hey, you blew okay, that okay, last okay, night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway... Um, yeah, some really great stuff. Again, going back to the MPU, they're leaning into MPU. 80 tops, right? At least on the PC. For the PC, for the uh, um, Snapdragon 8 Elite, or uh, X2 uh, Elite Extreme. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah. so they're going to have a whole family of new uh, processors for the uh, PC family. Basically, increased performance at every level. But, you know, especially in the NPU, double performance, especially in Extreme. So they're going to have the uh, X2, uh, X2 Elite, and they're going to have the X2 Elite Extreme, which really kind of ups them, ups their game uh, on the GPU level, on the CPU level, on the NPU level, right. to where they're going to be really, really competitive uh, in... According wow. to some of their benchmarks, um, yeah. you know, uh, maybe uh, or even industry leader in a lot of areas. Right, right. At least, at least for the segments that they're positioning exactly. the SOC for. But, yeah, it, it's uh, so the MPU wars are on again, right? And we're just looking at, yes. like, basically a year cycle where, you know, six months ago there wasn't a lot of talk about MPU. But going back to the comment that you made earlier, uh, there are a lot more ISVs doing substantial things with the uh, MPU yes. versus last year. And that was sort of the missing ingredient uh, and probably the thing that was lacking in catalyzing the use of uh, MPU and driving developer interest. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that was, that was any final takeaways? Otherwise, we got to jump on planes and get out of here, no, right? I, get I out of just, paradise. I would just say that you know they gave us what we expected: increased performance on the on the flagship uh, chipsets for handsets, yeah. and also increased performance for the PC. Um, you know, they said at Computex, "We're in it for the." Uh, Cristiano said, "We're in it for the long haul. We're not leaving." Um, and they are they're continuing to invest. They're in, investing. You know, not only in their technology, but they're investing in the ecosystem. They're definitely investing in marketing. So the one thing they did give us was kind of a preview saying that they're going to have 6G devices or promise 6G devices in 2028. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that pre-commercial. 
Right. Yes. And then, um, oh, the other thing to highlight, uh, third, third gen Orion CPU cores, uh, and 18 of them loaded up into the, the, um, the elite or extreme version. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, it's good. Actually, I'm very happy to see that they're uh, putting a lot of attention into the CPU. And, um, yeah, I was expecting a little bit more love on the GPU end of things. And I wish that there was an AI to get rid of people that walk into our shot. Yeah. But, hey, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Thanks to um, Qualcomm for inviting us out here yes, absolutely. for another installment of a Snapdragon Tech Summit. Two and this is the 2025 uh, version, which was great. And it's always wonderful to hang out with you. Jim, it's unfortunate that uh, Carl couldn't join us. He's here as well, but he was a little bit under the weather. But yes. uh, he has a wonderful time in Kauai to look forward to. So yes. uh, anyways, we'll have him back in recapping uh, the month of September, which is truly insane. Yep. Truly. So anyway, uh, take care. We'll see you uh, stateside. Thank you.